Did anyone else get the feeling that it just brought the hood, you know, the hood out of Steve Harvey? Like, this! <laughs> What is up, guys? It is I, the one and only Mr. Grimm. Your soul is mine. Today, I got something a little bit different for you guys. Today, we are going to be checking out stupid answers in game show history. Now, I've always been a big fan of game shows. And in a certain way, shape, or form, game show moment compilations like these have kept the game show genre alive. They are the reason reason why the whole world knows who Steve Harvey is. They are why we remember people like Richard Dawson. Most importantly, every day somebody new finds a clip and laughs. Just laughs. So to pay homage, 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 I am going to react to these stupid answers and hopefully you guys will come along for the ride. During what months of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? September. September. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have that moment where the teacher calls on you in school and you're like, where am I? Who am I? Donde estoy grande tus nachos? That was me in Spanish. September. September? We're not animals. We don't breathe in the spring. We're humans. We breathe all year round. I believe the correct answer here would be first, second, or third month when they begin to look pregnant. She must have just heard name a month and she spit one out there. But the fact that she just did it spur of the moment just makes it funny. Name something you wouldn't try even once. Matthew. Sex on a train. Did he really just say sex on a train? I mean, forget that it's a family show and that you probably shouldn't have said that in the first place. But like, is your wife watching? Because now you're just acting reverse sus. <laughs> sex on a train. <laughs> no. Funnily enough, our survey people didn't come up with that one. I take it back. That smirk on his face makes me feel like he meant to say sex on the train it reminds me of that one tiktok guy that makes that face you know which one i'm talking about Does he not remind you of Josh One Morris? Thinking about the time I had a twin size bed that my 6'3 boyfriend barely fit in. <laughs> Look at him, oh my gosh. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. Something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma! Naked, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it takes a legit stupid, stupid answer to piss off Steve Harvey. Did anyone else get the feeling that it just brought the hood, you know, the hood out of Steve Harvey? Like, this! <laughs> the frustration on Steve's face says it all. I don't wanna see that either. Dude on the side is like, I wouldn't want to see that either. But you lying, my dude. Because grandmas nowadays, they be looking like this. I know you're right, okay? I, nobody wants to see a naked grandma. Especially not thirsty naked grandma. Hey there, big boy. What are the chances? Are you breaking in the house and running up into your grandmama naked? Steve just doesn't realize this guy was probably actually traumatized as a kid from seeing his grandmama naked. You know that saying, whatever doesn't kill you only makes you stronger? This guy took that trauma and ran with it. You can almost sense the pain in his soul. I'm shining on ya, I'm shining on ya. <laughs> Looking for a naked grandmama in the house, outside, in the woods, on the blanket. That was very specific. I'm so right about that. He literally just gave props 
to his actual grandma. <laughs> That's the occupant person that's there. <laughs> and that's why we should never judge people, Steve. Real or fictional? Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> that was kind of a stupid clip, but I promised myself I wouldn't let any of these go to waste. Does that not sound like something double dirty? Like a raunchy comic book superhero? <laughs> Hi, Kevin. You know John? Yes, we do. Before I let this clip roll on any further, being a pretty big fan of vintage game shows, including Gene Rayburn and The Match Game, I just must admit that Gene Rayburn just has one of those faces that really creeps me out. He reminds me of somebody that would like slap kids with a ruler for fun. Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, pretty dimples there, John? And it's clips like these that really do not help that sentiment. Something really shady was going on in the 70s, man. I mean, have you guys seen the clips of Richard Dawson? There's literally a YouTube video, nine minutes worth of footage of him kissing females on the lips. And this was just one season. I mean, he pretty much lip trains the entire family, including grandma. Corona, corona. And it doesn't stop there. He pretty much proceeds to do the same thing to the other family. Hello. But to their defense, the 70s were a different time period. And it's not like I would be complaining. Still, I decided to research this clip just a little further, you know, for scientific research. And this is Gene Rayburn pretty much explaining the situation. Well, this actually was with before the game began. Oh. I was interviewing a most beautiful young woman. <laughs> beautiful face. And she had beautiful dimples. And I wanted to compliment her on her dimples. I bet you did. <laughs> did it air that way? You know, it's, it's strange. That happened... Oh, I think in the early 70s. And in that climate, we had to edit it out. So it never actually aired on actual television. It was just saved in the archives for the bloopers, I guess. Still. Ah! Gentlemen, tell me, what is your favorite part of our newlywed game set? Jim? Probably wife number two. <laughs> What the heck? How'd this clip get here? This isn't a stupid answer. This has to be one of the greatest answers in the history of all game shows. Want to know how I know that it is the greatest answer in the history of all game shows? It is because the other wife knows it. The crowd obviously knows it. The other husband knows it. Bob Eubanks obviously knows it his wife finally figures it out and in the end he even pats himself on the back because it was the greatest answer in game show history probably wife number two I'm telling you, the 70s were a different period. How did the husband not just get up and like... If that happened today, husband's reaching over that podium. 20 people recording on their iPhones. Dude in the back yelling, world star! Grandma in the front row with a cane saying, kick his ass! Name a piece of clothing wives buy for their husbands. Halter tops. <laughs> I mean, back then, it was a stupid, stupid answer. Today, it would go a little something like this. Thanks, sweetie. I love it. How'd I get so sexy, though? Edgar. Fish love? <laughs> Sorry. Jenny? Oh, Wish list. Fish love? Is that actually a thing? This guy seems to think so. I mean, there is a video floating out there of a guy doing some strange things with a fish. Now, I didn't see it. Personally, I did not want to go that deep in my research, but you are welcome to look it up. Now, before I go unnecessarily judging this guy, hint, hint, Steve Harvey. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Let me give this guy the benefit of the doubt. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. That's just stupid. There is no way fish love could even be a thing. Well, let me prove you wrong. In 2009, Greta Scacchi, an Italian-Australian actress, mother of Vincent D'Onofrio's daughter, yes, I do mean Private Gomer Pyle from Full Metal Jacket, and Edgar the Bug from Men in Black, whose daughter is actually married to actor Sean Penn, established a photographic annual campaign called Fish Love, raising awareness for the preservation of endangered sea life, having celebrities pose semi-nude pictures with endangered fish. Some of these celebrities include Paris Jackson, Michael Jackson's daughter, obviously Sean Penn, and of course my favorite, Thanos himself. Josh Brolin. So see, it is a thing. The more you know. All I can think is what if somebody wanted to take one of those with an octopus? Anyway peeps, that's gonna do it for this video. Please be sure to punch the like button in the face, slash that notification bell, and of course subscribe to become a fellow fallen angel. Mr. Grim Reaper, out. Your soul is mine.